you guys I'm back with another video um, this one has been very highly requested and it's my diet and exercise regime uh, this started probably like almost two months ago um, I originally had planned to just go hang out with some friends in California and it turned into kind of doing a little bit of work with a photo shoot that I have coming up so basically um, I joined a gym which I haven't done in a while because of the fact that um, I just haven't had time you know I had the I was pregnant and then I had the boys and it was a lot when they were when they were babies but now that they're getting older and they're starting to get into more stuff um, it's easier for me to like do things now so I joined a gym and I thought I knew what I was going to do, and I got there, and I just figured, no. There, I, you know, I have to have something additional. So I ended up getting um, two trainers, and I work with them every Friday afternoon. Um, basically, what I'm doing is going and doing weights at least three times a week. So I do um, my legs and my butt one day, my arms and abs one day and my back one day and every day consists of a five minute warm up and then 30 to 45 minutes of weight training and then I do about 30 minutes at most 30 minutes because I don't have a lot of time because of the boys of cardio for cardio I do about if it's if I'm doing 30 minutes I kind of break it up and do a little bit on the treadmill at a sprint, 5% incline on like a three or four speed. And then I do the bike and then I do the elliptical um, because I get bored of just, you know, sprinting. So I do that, which, you know, uh, on the days that I don't do weight training, I still do cardio. And I do have one or two days where I rest. Um, but that's about it. And then outside of the gym, that's where the, that's where majority of the, um, weight loss comes from. Because if you've read up on these things, diet is a big factor. Now, I ate pretty healthy during my pregnancy. I only gained 51 pounds. And I dropped most of it, probably about, like, 90% of it after I delivered. Um, once I got the okay to start working out, about six to eight weeks after my C-section, I cut out all whites. No refined sugars, no breads, and that's hard because I love bread. So I cut out all whites, and then April I decided to switch to gluten-free. Now I did gluten-free for a little while and it helped, but it really wasn't working well with my stomach. So I added the wheat back in there slowly. Um, and then when I joined the gym and got my trainers in April or August, I went, because I also found out I was doing a photo shoot uh, on the 28th. So I went ahead and did a low carb diet. Now it's not something that you can do long term. It's the keto diet. It's basically training your body to burn the fat let me get this right for energy and not use the muscle that you've gained because I'm I'm the scale is not moving it did in the beginning when I started to you know when I cut down all my carbs I'm doing about 10 to 15 a day um, but I have it's a high protein diet so I'm eating about four to six ounces of chicken every few hours I have uh, breakfast which consists of three to four egg whites and one egg then I have my mid-morning snack, which is about like a four ounce piece of chicken. I have lunch, which is a spinach salad with no dressing, um, cucumbers. And then midday snack, I have either my protein shake, which is my Body by Vi shake. And I usually do two scoops of that, plus a half a teaspoon of sugar-free strawberry jello, which it tastes like strawberry milk. And I was a big fan of strawberry milk growing up, so that's why I did that. And then I have um, some chicken with that. And then I come home or I go to the gym because the, I, I had the protein shake, which kind of gives me some fuel, some energy. I also, you know, have like five almonds. And then I go to the gym 
and then come home and I have another four pieces, four ounces of chicken and like a green, like I love broccoli. And that's usually what my diet is. Um, my cheat meals, I'm not really doing them. I mean, I don't really consider them a cheat meal. I think of it as a reward. If I've been good all week, I'll have a short, which is about eight ounces of the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte with soy milk and no whip. Um, and that's like, that's my reward. Um, sometimes I'll do big breakfasts because I love breakfast. Now on Saturdays my breakfast changes. I still have the egg whites and the egg, but I also have like four pieces of turkey bacon because it doesn't have any carbs and it, it has protein. Um, but next week, because I'm, uh, next week will be a week before I leave for my photo shoot, I'm doing um, asparagus and the gallon of water instead of the water bottles because I am drinking eight bottles of water one each hour but I need to cut out all the sodium beforehand so I'm taking the expel um, next week for I think it's 10 days I think I'll start that um, maybe I'll start I think I started early and it's 10 days it expels all the w uh, water weight um, because I'm not losing weight on the scale I'm losing body fat and I've lost a couple, like maybe 3% body fat in just two weeks. So, you know, I'm pretty impressed. Everything's fitting loose. I'm going by how my clothes are fitting, not by the scale. So don't obsess by that. If you're not seeing the numbers move, but you're feeling your clothes lighter, then you're doing something right. Um, so I'm the sleep is still kind of hard because I have so much going on that I love doing, not that I'm, you know, forced to do it. And so I'm getting like six hours of sleep, um, but nothing but water to drink and that's about it. Um, it takes dedication, motivation, inspiration. I have a lot of friends that are encouraging me. I'm doing this, you know, people ask me why I'm doing this, you know, to be skinny. I'm doing this because I feel great doing it. I feel like a better person. I feel so much more positive. You know, I love taking care of my body. I'm doing this so I can take care of my kids in the future, you know, so I can obviously look good in a bikini summertime, um, you know, that kind of thing. So. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the results are going so far. You know, I've, I've done really well. I mean, I'm building um, muscle, which is starting to show, and, and it's starting, you know, my definition is, is progressing, is what my trainers say. So, and I get weighed in um, once every two weeks or so. So, that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them below or email me at loveandybeauty at yahoo.com. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, but for now, this is what I'm doing. I'll do another update probably next month when I add the carbs slowly back to my diet. Um, but good luck to you. If you have any, like I said, questions, feel free to let me know. If you need any motivation, I'm with you, babe. So you guys have a great Sunday. I'm going downstairs to watch the Texans. Woohoo! So I'll see you guys later, and I'll have a great week. Bye.